Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hack my quilted slippers pattern into cute little festive elf slippers. This is a hack that I made for my niece last year and I was really excited to get to share it with you this year. So for these slippers, I did not quilt them. Um, I really like how it looks in the velvet and I don't think it really needs the quilting. But I think if you want to use a quilted fabric, that would totally work. Just be aware that it could get a little um, bulky in the toe. So for these, again, I used velvet for the sole and the body. And then for the lining, I used um, kind of a sweatshirt fleece to give it some more bulk so that you don't really need the batting. So to make these slippers, you'll need to buy the quilted slippers pattern from my shop, and then you'll need to download this add-on bonus pattern. And this bonus pattern is free when you sign up for the newsletter, and there are gonna be links to all these things in the show notes. So when you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get a password that will give you access to the resource library that gives you all the pattern add-ons and PDFs that you need for any of my tutorials. You can unsubscribe to the newsletter at any time, but it just comes out about once a week and I let you know what new videos I have going on or new blog posts. Um, sometimes I'll email a little bit more if there's a sale or a new pattern launch. So again, all those links are down below. Let's get started. To make your elf slippers, you want to print out your pattern for the booty style and then download the pattern bonus. And again, you can get this by signing up for the newsletter. And you want to cut out the size for your booty pattern. And then when you print out your elf slipper pattern bonus, you can turn on and off the sizes. So you just want to print out the size that you need. And you want to make sure to print it at 100% and there's a one inch test square to make sure that you've got it right. And then you can just overlap your pattern pieces and put your booty right on top here, tape it down, and then you can cut out along here and that's your elf slipper pattern piece. So here's the booty of the slippers I'm making today and here's my pattern. So all you want to do is fold this right sides together. It's just like if you're making the normal slippers. So I'm just gonna put pins in at the notches and then I will sew all the way around the toe. Let's head over to the sewing machine. All right, we're gonna do the first step of sewing our slipper, sewing along the center front, center top of the foot and then over the toe and down to the notch. And this pattern uses a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And you wanna make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and end. All right, I have the sole of the slipper pinned to the booty and I'm going to stitch all the way around the edge. Okay, now it's time to clip the seam allowances and stuff the toe. Okay, so here I have my slipper and I've clipped the seam allowances along the, um, the top of the foot and all around the sole. And this will just help it turn right side out and um, kind of get into the shape that we want along those curves. So now you want to reach in here and pull this inside out and then you can just use your fingers or even a chopstick to gently push the toe out. Oh, hi, you coming to see what's happening? <laughs> All right, so here we have the toe. You can see it taking shape. And to make it stay in that shape, we're gonna stuff it. So you can use polyfill or you could use scraps of batting. Um, you may even be able to use scraps of fabric. So 
I'm going to do polyfill today and I just kind of take a small bit and go in here and stuff it in the toe. And you can just repeat that until you get a pretty good shape. You want it all evenly stuffed, nice and flat. So I just kind of fill it up about to here, just the extra part that we added onto the pattern, because we don't need to fill the whole thing. So you just get that nice and filled in, and then you want to attach your lining to your slipper. So here I have my lining piece. I've sewn the toe area, and for the lining, I'm not doing the little um, addition that we did for the outside. And then I've attached the sole, but with an opening, and this will allow us to turn it right side out. So we can just put our outside of the slipper into the lining. And you wanna make sure that you have the correct left and right going together. You wanna to get your um, center front seams lined up and then just pin them together and pin all around the raw edge and then stitch. Okay, to stitch the lining to the body, I just start in the middle and go all the way around. It's a little bit hard to see because it's a tiny opening, but just take it slow and you can do it. To finish the slipper, you'll turn it right side out and sew the opening closed by hand. I'll put a link in the show notes to my video that shows all the steps of sewing these slippers. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I think it's a really fun project. This pair of slippers is gonna be going to my brother. I asked him if my niece needed a new pair and he said that he wanted a pair. So this, these ones are going to him. Um, and in case you're wondering, this pattern for the quilted slippers goes from about a U.S. women's size 4 up to a U.S. men's size 14. So there's really a big range. You should be able to make slippers for anyone in the family. If you like this video, you can give it a like. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the subscribe button down below. Happy sewing!